Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started so first of all sorry for not uploading a video last week guys i've got the flu and my voice was totally destroyed i still have a little bit issues with that but uh, not as bad as last sunday so uh, for those of you who've been waiting for a video a big sorry for you guys here we go once again so uh, don't forget to hit that like button add a comment share the video keep helping the channel to grow so we start with the dixie and we are looking at the weekly time frame so what happened last week was um, as you see here we've got an indecision candle not much changed on the dollar direction going down to the daily time frame we see that the dollar did reach the market ob objective which was um, a retest of this uh, previous high here and got rejected first time here got rejected on thursday once again still a uh, big trouble to break higher we want to see the dollar breaking above this this um, area here if the bulls really gonna uh, continue to the upside this breakout need to happen to then start targeting uh, 95 area or these uh, couple of tops here if that is not the case next week then the next move gonna be potentially uh, further down correction as we've been having uh, this uh, consolidation for a while now uh, going down to the four hour time frame we see that uh, we've got this um, area tested again a couple of times so we had here rejection here and um, yeah last friday they did touch the level without further continuation in my opinion as far as the dixie is above this uh, little trend line and above the 200 moving average on the four hour I'll, i will keep trying to to buy because the sequence of uh, this uh, move here is still higher highs higher lows correction right now and as far as the trend line is holding i'm looking for further upside and absolutely if the breakout happened then of course we're gonna see further up on the dollar gold so what's it what's the situation with gold let's check um, this chart uh, on a higher time frame and see what's going on checking the weekly time frame as you see here uh, gold is uh, stuck inside this uh, consolidation zone for a while now there was uh, this huge uh, dip to the downside that went back inside range and since then we're still seeing gold uh, going sideways or consolidation and um, last week we've had uh, this uh, little attempt to break lower uh, there was a close at the lows here but the last move is still lower lows lower highs another lower low and another lower high on the daily time frame so it is not looking very good for the bulls especially that the market is trading below the 200 moving average on the daily time frame all that showing us that there is a potential that we might see gold breaking to the downside especially if the dixie would break higher if we see the dixie breaking above this level uh, ahead of gold i think gold will break to the downside and fill this uh, void in price down here once again um going to the four hour time frame we see it clearly the momentum to the downside is still stronger as you see the the bearish momentum are is much much stronger you see um, strong impulses shallow corrections to the upside then another strong impulse and shallow correction once again so what happened lately was break retest and continuation right now checking what will happen here if we're gonna get consolidation and another break to the downside maybe so this is what i'm watching on gold to see if we're gonna end up getting a flag or a consolidation that breaks lower uh, on uh, this market euro usd did reach targets as well reach the market objective which was a retest of this area and this level was marked on our chart uh, since a while now uh, did reach uh, monthly s1 and stopped at this level this is the monthly s1 air, uh, line down here uh, almost to the pip 
tagged that line and um, got rejected from that area on uh, Thursday. It could be also profit taking, but all in all, what's going on on uh, EURUSD is still that we are inside this consolidation phase here. As far as there is no break out of this, we will keep playing the bounces uh, inside this little range on uh, Euro USD. Going down to the lower time frame to see what happened in detail last week. So we see that uh, there was a break of this structure, another correction and break to the downside to then reach this level, hold the lines here. And uh, there was an attempt to go back higher uh, that stopped uh, at around this area here, around the neckline. And on Friday, we've got another push to the downside that did find a little bit of a support or it could also be profit taking. So what's the plan on the euro? If you are bullish the euro, it is now the time for you <clears throat> to start looking for a continuation to the upside. So we were we could say that we are expecting the market to move one more like this. So we've got one down and then maybe one more to the upside. Otherwise, <clears throat> if you are bearish on the euro, you potentially want to see a break and close below this previous low and below monthly S1, uh, the, the monthly pivot S1 down here. Uh, you want to see that broken. So for now, keep an eye on this little range. If we go down to the one hour time frame, you can have this range marked on your chart and wait to see if it's going to break out um, or not or a break to the downside and as you see uh, on the one hour time frame the 200 moving average been acting as a very nice dynamic um, resistance so that could be your filter that as far as the market is trading below this 200 moving average on the one hour to maybe keep shorting this market that's my plan at least uh, as far as it is below the 200 moving average on the one hour and the four hour that for me a sign of weakness and potential continuation but as i said it is a key area so keep an eye here you might get a little bit of a bounce to the upside sterling <coughs> Also, um, a little bit of a consolidation, also having big issues to trade back above the 200 moving average on the daily. They failed here, they failed here. And lately we've got a, a strong move to the downside on this market, as you see here. But they did reach a key structure level, which was previous support. We saw that happening a couple of times and we saw that happening last Thursday when um, uh, the Sterling had news events. Uh, if we go back to that, we will see what I'm um, talking about. Was this? Where is Super Thursday? Here we go. There was it. So we had the asset uh, purchase facilities. We had the uh, monetary policy statement, the official bank rate vote and all that happening on Thursday, which why we've got this move to the upside now. Again, guys, keep in mind that before this move to the upside, this market did break to the downside, did break a key structure area, did break this whole level that been tested so many times at support and resistance. And one could expect a little bit of a retest of that level and potentially continuation. So we've got a retest of this broken structure and then on Friday the market start moving lower so the levels to watch for next week in my opinion it is still this down here this support level down here this is gonna be key at around monthly s1 and where the market failed to break higher uh, on Friday and this is the area so keep on keep in mind this level here as potential resistance this here as potential support keep playing those levels until we have a break out of that area. I mean, any break to the downside that will send us quickly toward this level and maybe further down. So as for now, this is a key support. It should be defended, but it's all about watch and see what will happen. We've got a nice impulse here and a correction so far. So how far did it correct on this leg only? We've got a 618 Fib retracement. So a bullish scenario here would be that you say we've got an impulse, we've got a 618 retracement, double bottom. I'm willing to go long back toward previous high. That could be a case as well. 
if you want to trade mid-range otherwise it would be better to wait and see if they're gonna be trouble here once again and a rejection or if the market reached this level down here to find uh, to look if there is support and another bounce to the upside because we could end up going sideways in this lower range and keep in mind this resistance is a key and the support also is key look how the market is moving quickly from this area each time we reach that level we've got a huge move to the upside so there is potentially still orders here that is that getting absorbed down here we will see if this will break or not but those are the levels for you to watch for next week usd jappy also um, big momentum to the upside after reaching the key support level we've been talking about this support level for a while now and that uh, this is an area of um, interest for the bulls 109.10 i said that in many videos in the past since this level we've been trading this level for a while now but last uh, wednesday was a nice move from this area to the upside that was happening at the same time when we had the stock market moving to the upside as well so if we check the s p 500 down here uh, was the s p 500 when the uh, uj found that support and did a huge move to the upside <clears throat> so what happened now well uh, it did reach uh, resistance or almost at around monthly r1 up here i would say the 111 area gonna be a potential resistance level and why i'm saying that well we've got this move from that area we've got trouble here fake out also this move happened from that area so it is not a bad level to watch as a potential resistance or at least a little bit of a correction down from this area and keep in mind after such a huge move with almost no correction it is potentially time for a little bit of a correction back down maybe a retest of these levels or something like that i would say take a fib retracement and maybe expect 38.2 or 50 percent retracement on this whole leg here um, and yeah it was a good and strong momentum but again nothing just keep going in one direction they need to correct lately we've got this whole push here and then it got corrected all the way back down to support so um, i'm not totally uh, expecting this market to just keep moving higher so uh, this correction to the downside is tradable and the reason i'm saying that even though i don't like to, cor to trade correction is because of this it is pretty empty area until we start reaching some kind of a structure uh, on this market so it could give you a nice little trade here um, 50 70 pips or something like that so um, a wise area to watch for potential reversal um, usd chief so what's going on here then guys we've got the breakout we were looking for a continuation and um, the most important thing in my opinion that we've got a breakout on the weekly time frame so this weekly break and close above this high was a huge thing to watch because we've got the impulse correction yet another impulse a break and close above previous high that was a huge thing that signal that we might continue toward these areas and after this nice rounded bottom on the weekly i mean come on i'm still think this might continue higher but what happened was we've got a, a strong correction to the downside on the daily to then find a uh, support at the key area this level was marked on our chart what also happened that is very interesting that after this low here we start having a little bit of a higher low yet another higher low on uh, friday so things start to slow down to the downside and uh, we were waiting to see if we're gonna see a little bit of a momentum to the upside i wanted to see this broken for then look for further upside that didn't happen and there is still a risk for a little bit further down movement because of this impulse and now a correction which may end up making another impulse to the downside but all in all i think that <clears throat> as far as the market is above this uh, trend line and the 200 moving average on the four hour i'm willing to keep being long on this market it is a good trend line that been tested many times as you see here i don't know why the chart it just keep moving every time i <laughs> i paint something but yeah you got the idea it's been tested many times so uh, why not further upside as far as it is holding and especially that we've got 
a break out here uh, before the corrections start to happen. So um, if this market to fail and break this trend line, keep an eye on further continuation on USD Chief is my idea. USD CAD, this is a little bit of a um, uh, lay um, back for me because I was looking for a further upside, especially after that we've got the breakout here. I tried to go long to then see the market going against me. I didn't like the idea that we broke this trend line, but if you check the structure, we still have no previous uh, swing low broken. This swing low is still valid. This swing low is not broken. The market is trading above the 200 moving average on the uh, daily time frame, and uh, no previous uh, lows been broken. While if we go down to the four hour time frame, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because on this time frame, uh, this market did break previous structure, did a strong break, did a retest, failed to go back above. If this would be something like this, I would love to see a correction and then further upside. But since they broke lower and they failed to break back above and they push once again to the downside, this is signaling uh, weakness for the bulls and this also signaling potentially a break to the downside and one more leg lower here on this market. So I'm a little bit cautious, even though I want to be bullish here, the one hour and the four hour, they are not looking good. We've got lower highs all the way, lower lows also coming here, another lower high, broke trend line, broke the 200 moving average, did a retest of that area, failed and did push down again. So any break below this, that will signal further continuation, at least toward this level or if that area also got broken, which is a key area, we might start looking for a continuation to this low. But keep in mind, <clears throat> this structure here been tested so many times as both support and resistance, as you see. So if they reach this level next week after a break here, do not be in shock if you see the bulls pushing once again from this area. Look left, you will see that this area been tested so many times as both support and resistance. And I think we can go all the way back here to see that this level is not a bad level to watch. Aussie. So going to the daily time frame here, we see that Aussie uh, did break shortly above the trend line. But I've been saying also in our trading room to our uh, to my students that uh, guys, even though the breakout happened, I want you to keep an eye on the bottom of this previous range for a potential trouble. And um, yeah, on Friday, we've got a little bit of a trouble at that level. 200 moving average on the four hour and the uh, lows here from this previous range was a good area to watch for a potential resistance and uh, resistance we've got we saw the market pushing lower <coughs> double topped here broke the neckline here and continue further down so next week any retest to this area if they fail to break higher i'm looking to add another sell and a continuation toward these lows and the key structure is still a break below these lows is needed for that continuation lower toward this swing low down here if the market gonna test this low down here they still need to break this uh, structure here for that continuation if that would be the case look for a retest and continuation toward this area on uh, next week New Zealand USD also um, a little bit of a weakness on Friday after uh, this lower high here we've got a break of the neckline nice retest but with a good momentum and then failed to continue higher and reject it so this is now another confirmed lower high after this lower high we've got another one we've got a confirmed lower low a strong move to the downside so for our time frame next week Keep an eye on this low down here at around monthly pivot point. If they break this structure, I'm eyeing a, a strong continuation lower. There is not much on the way until they reach the bottom of this range or this swing low down here. Okay, so keep an eye on this support for next week, guys. Or if you get a retest toward this area that failed to break higher, then you can look for a sell from that level as well to the downside. 
and uh, yeah that is uh, it for the forex and the last market is oil checking the daily time frame as you see guys there is not much uh, structure on the way we have this swing high and then the market might reach the ultimate objective which is 75 75 uh, 50 up here uh, the areas uh, of interest the structure is still a bullish structure with higher highs and higher lows and um, yeah i think the bulls will uh, not stop moving higher until they reach uh, these previous highs tags these areas at around 75.50 or 76 as well is the top of this area so uh, for next week uh, as far as this market is holding um, above these structures here especially this here any retest that hold I'm looking for potential continuation toward that resistance on oil. Unless you see this structure broken, that would mean uh, move back toward 71 area on uh, oil. Okay. So first structure to watch is still this down here or potentially this previously broken structure. So we have two levels uh, actually either a retest of this previously broken structure and continuation from this area or a deeper one where I'm expecting even better support down here and then further upside. As far as these levels are holding, you should be only looking to buy because it is still a bullish market we are looking at here. And that would be it for this week, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next Sunday. Bye bye.